all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is Thursday and we're gonna start with a video about Little People Big World because this season is, you know, like every other season. Okay, just kidding. But this show has been on the air for 21 seasons. Can you even believe that? And the show is a very different show than it used to be back when it was like all of the kids because none of them are on it anymore except for Zach and Tori. So basically the whole season this year is kind of revolving around Amy and Matt Roloff kind of fighting about what's going to happen with the property because the two of them are now divorced and in new relationships and Amy's engaged to her fiance Chris and she is in the process of moving off of the property in on Roloff Farms. Roloff Farms actually just had their debut weekend for pumpkin season Despite everything that's going on in the world, Matt Roloff took to Instagram to let everyone know that they had a great first weekend. Oh, okay, everybody. Yeah, Matt Roloff here. I wanted to update you on the uh, on on an incredible uh, opening weekend for pumpkin season. Um, in fact, I got some really kind of big news to tell you um, about all that. So we had a really good opening weekend. Um, the family all made appearances out here, and um, Jackson and and Tori and Zach and Jeremy and Audrey were even here for a little bit with their well, my little grandbaby. So we all had a good time. It was really good. We got great feedback. Um, it was very uh, safe. Then he also mentioned that on Tuesday nights, he crawls underneath a bed. So on Tuesday nights, Little People Big World is airing. And this last week's episode was a doozy because Amy is actually preparing to move off of the farm. And Matt Roloff is being kind of a turkey about this. He's being a little bit difficult. He's being a pestering pest. He is being Matt Roloff. He is still acting like somehow he has control of what Amy's going to do. Amy, for her part, she is having a hard time leaving. This is a place where they have lived for 30 years. She had all of her children there, so she had all four of her babies there. She has all kinds of stuff that she needs to sort through and decide what she's going to keep and what she's going to get rid of. And it's taking the process of doing all of this is taking a long time. So obviously Matt wants her gone because he was initially going to buy her out, but that sort of fell through. And now they need to decide what they're going to do, whether or not they're going to rent the house or if they are going to actually sell it. But in order for Matt to get in to do the repairs, Amy needs to leave. And Amy has been sort of delaying things, as Matt says, for five months. Now, Amy, for her part, has a lot to go through. She's a lot to look at, and she doesn't want any help in order to make this decision of what she's gonna keep and what she's going to leave. The kids, uh, Zach goes over there and offers to help. She says no. Matt goes over there and pesters her, and she says no. Even her fiance, Chris, told her that she needs to get a move on it and sort of figure out what she's gonna do because it's time for her to leave. The entire episode was trying to sort of navigate her emotional feelings about leaving with also this sort of demeaning undertone by Matt about her being a hoarder and her just being really, you know, it's taking her forever and Zach being sort of caught in the middle. So Zach is from the, his perspective can seize his mom's side because he believes, you know, this is very emotional for her. She's having a hard time, but he also understands that Matt wants to get going, wants to get stuff done. And even at the end of the episode admitted that his father's inability to slow down and actually consider him moving and what that affects, how it affects his mother is probably a part of the conflict that's happening here. But he also agrees that for Amy's best interests and her mental health, the best thing is for her to do is to leave the property because these two do not get along anymore, right? So, with the end of the era, there was obviously a lot of emotion for her. And Matt tried to pretend like he cared, like saying, I know it's emotional. I know she's going through this. I know she's going through that. But at the end of the day, he just came off as Matt. Now, on Instagram, following the episode, people were not happy with him. In fact, they were leaving him all kinds of comments. People were so upset that they started flooding his Instagram photos and one person wrote, stop rushing her. I'm completely shocked that her own son is in on it now. 
truly disgusted. So I guess Matt and his oversized mistress get to run off into the sunset with the family business. Shaking my head, Matt gets everything he wants, right? Another person wrote, if Amy wants to stay 50 years to clear out the home, that's her choice. She thought she was going to live there for the rest of her life after raising her children there. So your girlfriend had no right to say that it was occupancy. How insensitive can you and your girlfriend be? Yes, because Karen did refer to Amy as being sort of an occupant or occupying this property. And another person wrote, you need to be a little bit more caring with Amy. She's your kid's mother, not the not the woman you are with now. Another person wrote, telling Amy that selling would rid of any memory of 20 years ago is just mean. Wow. There are things that are edited, but th that did come out of your mouth and that was just a stab at the heart. So disrespectful to the mother of your children. Now, obviously, some people were keen to point out that this is a reality show and so we have no idea what actually happened or you know, what made the air. But one person said, y'all do realize, don't you, that they get along better than what's shown on camera. The show and Amy's current Instagram shows her being on the farm whenever she wants. Geez, and my kid left behind stuff they didn't want. Then they moved out and Amy has four. And Amy has four. And obviously there was more and more questions. Now Matt did say that he felt like Amy had hoarder tendencies and that clearing out would be very hard for her. And so other people were sort of empathizing with Matt in regards to the fact that she has a hard time clearing it out. But more often than not, the comments were just not in his favor, which could be why so many people are just not thrilled with Matt on his Instagram. They also don't like Karen. It was Matt's birthday yesterday and he shared a photo and Karen shared a photo of them on their birthday and, you know, doing what they're doing. And people just don't like Karen. You know, they think that, you know, and people are saying, still trying to use the Napoleon complex attitude to control Amy. Wake up. She was smart enough and didn't take it when you were married and she's not going to take it now. There was also questions about like comments about how Karen has just sort of like come in and she has no business to say anything. So people don't love Karen. People want Amy to be happy. But some people noted that, you know, now that they're both moved on and happier without each other, maybe they can finally move on. And it is true, Amy is seen on the property. He even mentioned that Amy has been there for the launch of the new pumpkin season, which is a big event for the family every single year. But with all that said and done, I find it interesting that this is a highly edited show, but Amy has always sort of clapped back at this idea that this drama is scripted. Matt has admitted that he amps things up and causes drama in order to make a good show. So was this for the show or was this more like really happening? I don't know. I have to say probably in the middle somewhere, Amy is leaving a house that she's been in for 30 years. She's leaving a lot of memories and a lot of emotion with that. And that's hard. She had planned to live there for the rest of her life. <laughs> Walking... Walking away from those kinds of memories isn't easy and she has to pack up so much of her life and say goodbye. So even though she can come back and return to the farm, it's simply not the same. Whether you like the roll-offs or you don't like the roll-offs, they certainly have captivated America and Matt's polarizing, like, polarizing personality will never get people to not react. He is either you love him or you hate him. And I will say my opinion was that I found him to be so rude to her the entire episode. And I felt like everyone was ganging up on her. And I felt like Amy just needed a little bit of space. Um, obviously, she got there and she moved out. But this makes for better drama. So what are your thoughts? Are you team Amy, team Matt, or team I don't even care? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Bye, guys.